Hi everyone, well, I'd just like to give you a little update about the uh, Occupy Wall Street situation. As you know, it's spread from New York and they have now Occupy Boston, Occupy LA, and Occupy a lot of other places, even Occupy New Zealand. And of course, we also have Occupy Montreal. And um, they're going to be having a demonstration tomorrow at Square Victoria, uh, 800 Square Victoria at noon. Uh, so I might actually go, although as you know from my previous vlogs, I have mixed feelings about this, but um, I'd like to go and see, you know, what's happening and how things are going and how the police are responding to this and what people are saying and that kind of thing. So I'm going to go down there and check it out. You know, in the beginning, the media was giving this like zero attention. And I figured that the strategy was just maybe if we pay no attention to it it'll just simmer down and go away and we can just pretend it never happened and obviously that's not what happened because of the alternative media and social media everybody found out about it and it just spread like wildfire and now it's in the mainstream media and here's an article uh, that we had in the gazette occupy montreal like new york but with bilingual flavor and here's some things that they say about occupy montreal apparently now there's three thousand people involved and probably will be more soon they say it remains to be seen how the movement inspired by the Arab Spring and the American Autumn will play out in Montreal where our social safety net may be wider than in New York but our police are no less nervous. Uh, inspired by the Arab Spring, well people in Egypt were not just protesting, they were basically uh, you know, rioting and having an uprising and trying to literally overthrow the government. They said we want Mubarak out. And they were doing that because they were starving. So I don't know if this is exactly the same thing, I don't know if you can even say it's uh, was it inspired by that? I mean, we have different problems here. I, I think that in general, all over the world, people are, uh, you know, the common people are getting very frustrated with the continually worsening economic situation and uh, having their standard of living decreased. Although here it's higher to begin with, but we're all feeling, uh, feeling the burn. <laughs> we're, we're all feeling the heat, you know. So. I don't know if it's Arab inspired. I almost kind of think that that's like a way of, maybe in a sneaky way, trying to say that, you know, well, we're like the Arab countries and everybody knows that they're terrorists or something. I'm not sure, but I'm suspicious when they um, lump us in with anything that people are doing out in the Middle East. I just want to clarify that I'm not saying that people in the Middle East are terrorists. I'm just saying that's how the media portrays them. And they mentioned that in Quebec there is now Occupy Saguenay and even Occupy Pierrefonds, which, by the way, translates literally as rock bottom <laughs> and with the, the largest protest planned for Vancouver, Edmonton, Toronto and Montreal. They obviously need a lot of supplies. Callie Lazen, the founder of Adbusters in Vancouver, here's what he says. Lazen is hoping demonstrators around the world in a Tahrir moment, as in Tahrir Square obviously, will embrace the idea of a Robin Hood tax of 1% on financial transactions and make that a clear demand on October 29th when more cities join the global movement to put the G20 leaders gathering in France to put to the G20 leaders gathering in France in November. A 1% tax on financial transactions? Is that what they want to come out of this? I, I'm thinking, whoa, 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 maybe I, I misunderstood. Did they, did they leave something out like a 1% uh, tax on financial transitions over $50,000 or a hundred thousand or a million or a financial uh, transaction tax for people in a certain income bracket or something did i miss something here or wait is he is he saying that we should be demanding to be taxed more a one percent tax like financial transaction does that mean like when i go to the grocery store and i use my bank card i have to pay one percent tax are you insane do you know how much we're taxed already we have a tax a sales tax and we have a tax on a tax. I mean, we, we pay something like 15% tax here every time we buy something. So you want it to go to 16? Like, I'm sorry, but if that's what you want us to be saying at the protest, well, you're not gonna get me saying that. Why, why would they put this in the newspaper and, and say that, you know, Callie Lazen wants people to ask for a 1% tax on financial transactions? I just, this is so insane that, you know, in a way I don't even want to get involved, but I guess I already am involved. The, one, the, tr the, the tax on financial transactions, this is not a new thing and it wasn't invented by 
um, the Occupy Wall Street people or Cali Lazen. I remember reading about this a while ago that the government was suggesting that they, they do that, but uh, because, well, I guess it's a better way to pick people's pockets. But is it going to even out the gap between the rich and the poor, which is the problem? Is it going to create jobs? Does the government need more money from our taxes? I don't think so, because we give them a lot. It, but what do they do with it? Do they invest in the, you know, like, do they reinvest it in the economy and creating jobs? I don't know if that's their job to do, but do they do that? Do they help fund education? No. School fees are going up. Uh, better medical care? No. Uh, that's all going down the drain, pretty much. So where's our money going? Oh, yes, uh, the military, of course. So 1% tax on financial transactions, and guess where it's going to go? Into the pockets of the military industrial complex, the rich. Mm, you know, I don't really like that idea, so I'm not on board with that. Still, I, I'm probably gonna go, and, and again, that's not what they're necessarily, you know, demanding, but I just find it weird that they threw that in there. And uh, if you're interested, here's the Facebook group, Occupy Montreal, Occupy Montreal. So what could you expect at Occupy Montreal, Occupy Montreal? Uh, well, according to Callie Lazen, there is a less rabid and aggressive culture here in Canada. Did, 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 he, did he just say rabid? I don't, I don't like the sound of that at all. <clears throat> a less rabid culture in Canada. So I assume that will be on display. In other words, Canadians are uh, polite uh, to a fault, like pathologically polite. So don't expect you know it to get too, uh, too rowdy or anything, because it's Canada after all, even if it is Quebec. And he says that not only that, but to some degree, young people in Canada haven't suffered quite as much as young people in the U.S. and Spain. About 15% of people 20 to 24 are unemployed here, versus 45% of youths aged 16 to 24 in Spain. You know, when it comes to unemployment, I gotta tell you, I've never been unemployed because I, I was willing to do just about anything, you know, any job. I mean, I'm the kind of person who will literally take my keyboard out into the street if I have to, and I have before, So, and I would do it again. So I, I've, I've never been unemployed, you know, I've always found a way to make money, and I tend to think that, you know, where there's a will, there's a way, but apparently there, there is a problem. There is a, definitely a problem, but to those of you who are really uh, struggling, don't give up hope because I've always found a way, you know, to, to make ends meet or to make a buck and, you know, like literally take my keyboard out in the street. But that's not the only thing I've done. But if you, if you really, you know, need to find a job or make some money, like just work really hard to find something. Like just don't give up. Sometimes I've had three part-time jobs at a time. You, you just have to kind of maybe broaden your definition of what you're willing to do. Well, wait, that doesn't sound good. I don't mean... No, 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 what you're oh thinking, no, that, that's not what I meant. I just mean like, you know, yeah. um, don't be too picky. Anyhow, uh, that's it. We have Occupy Montréal and they're holding a meeting tomorrow, October 15th at 800 Square Victoria and I'll probably be there. So hope to see you and uh, thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time.